Welcome to Mimi's Math Channel. Today I will solve systems of equations with matrices. As you can see here, I am showing you what the actual systems are. And then I would take the coefficients and I'm going to place them in its own separate matrix. And then I'm going to multiply that times the variables that are shown here, x, y, and z, and set it equal to the constants. So those are the different matrices we will be using. For example, one, I'm asked to rewrite the matrix as a system of equations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply multiply negative six times that first variable, which is X. Then I'm going to take one and I'm going to multiply times the second variable, which is Y. So I don't have to write one Y, I can just write Y. And then the negative three, multiply it times the last variable, which is Z. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the second row. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this row and multiplying it times this column. And so I'm taking the first and the first. So that's going to give me four X. Then I'm going to the second element and the second element. And once I multiply apply those, that's going to give me negative 2y. And then lastly, I'm going to take the 1 and the z, which are in the third position. And once I multiply that, that's just plus z. I don't have to write the 1. And then I go to the bottom one, and I am going to take 1 times x, which is x, 5 times y, which is 5y, and then 5 times z, which is 5z. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to set each one of them equal to what's in the constant matrix. I could have did it at the same time as I when I was going row per row. And then this is negative three and positive 22. That was example one. So now we're going to go in reverse. We are given the systems of equations and we're asked to write it as a matrix equation. So I'm going to go to my coefficients and I'm going to write those out. So I have two, three, two, one, negative seven, three, another one, five, and four. So this is my coefficient matrix. I'm going to multiply this times the variable matrix of x, y, z. And then I'm going to set it equal to the constant matrix, which is 3, negative 26, 9. When I go to example 3, I'm asked to solve systems of equations using matrices. What I need to do is set up my coefficient matrix, which is going to be 1, 1, negative 2. And what I notice is I'm missing an x, so I'm going to put a 0 placeholder there. And then I have a 1y, negative 3, negative 1, 7, and 5. So it's very important that you align all of the coefficients with the correct variable. If it's missing something, you would just go ahead and put that zero placeholder. I'm going to multiply this times x, y, z, and then I'm going to set this equal to the constant matrix, negative 6, negative 10, and 7. So let's go ahead and label these. This is going to be matrix A, matrix X, and matrix B. So I am going to use the calculator because this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So what I'm going to do, though, in the calculator is I'm going to try to find the inverse. If I take the inverse of A and multiply it times A, what I do to one side, I'm going to have to do to the other side. The purpose of me doing this is to isolate the X. This is what I'm trying to get by itself. So the inverse and multiply times the A is going to turn into the identity matrix, which is just going to make it disappear. And I'm just left with the X. So over here, I'm going to have the X matrix, which is X, Y, Z. And then I'm going to set it equal to the A a inverse times B. So in my calculator, I am going to type in second matrix. I can either delete the ones that are here or I can just edit over it. So I'm going, that's what I'm going to choose to do, edit, and then change my dimensions to three by three, and then use the numbers that I have one, one, negative two, and then I have zero, one, negative three, negative one, seven, and five. So every time I entered a number, I press the enter button. To exit out of here, I go back to to second matrix and now go back over to edit. This time I want to go to number two because I want to enter in B. So B was a three by one and those numbers were negative six, negative 10 and positive seven. So I'm going to go ahead and quit by going to second mode and let's just go back so you'll see what I'm talking about. So this was A, this was the three by three that I entered in and then this was B, which was the three by one that I entered in. So in order to multiply the middle numbers have to be exactly the same, which they are. And so I know my final answer is going to be what's left over, which is a three by one. So let's go back to the calculator. The inverse of A, I have to go to second matrix, choose A, which was number one, and then choose the X inverse. Once I press that, it's going to show me all these decimals. I don't want that. So I'm going to go to math, already selected as fraction. So hit enter two times. And that's what we're going to write down. So now all we're going to do is bring down B 
which is going to be the constant one, negative 6, negative 10, and 7. What I want to do now is just go to my calculator and put this information in. So you just go to second matrix, select one. That's going to give you A. Again, we want the inverse. So press that, multiply, go back to second matrix. This time, go down to number two, which is R or B. Select that one and press enter. So this is going to be your final answer, which we said was going to be a three by one. So one, negative one, three. X, Y, Z equals one, negative one, and three, which is a three by one matrix. That's what we said. That it was going to be. And you can also write it in parentheses like this. Please like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.